You can make fabric grippy with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this at Sock Stop, and it's because I was trying to figure out how to add a little traction, add a little grippiness, friction to fabric. So I wanted to show you how it worked because I've been using it a little while, and I love it. So this is just a very smooth microfiber cloth. You might use these to clean glasses or electronics, those types of things. And it's very smooth and it will slide on things. And I thought I would test this out on this, but you can use this for all sorts of things. It's called sock stop because I think they initially intended this to be for the bottom of socks. So if you walk around your house in socks a lot, maybe you have hardwood floors, stone, tile, and they slip around, maybe they're a little dangerous because of that. Well, you can put this on the bottom of it. I think it's some sort of silicone and it's gonna make things grip a little bit better. So if you have kids, babies that have clothing that might slip around this is a good way to add a little traction to that i think you could put this on the palm of your golf glove or your football gloves those types of things to give it a little traction too so what i want to show you here is that this one is in black i think you can get them in other colors too white and clear and it has a little nozzle now it is open upon receipt so i didn't need to trim anything off there uh, like you do on some sort of the caulking guns and let me just show you how it works now you can do this in countless different ways, but if you just squeeze a little bit of this out, you can make little dots like this if you want. Uh, you can make little patterns and it kind of squeezes out like glue. It's got a little bit of thickness and body to it, just like that. So you can do this in patterns. And what I would say here is you can see how thick I've squeezed this out, right? So I have a little bit of height on it. And I would suggest that you do that because when it dries, you want it to be a little higher than the fabric itself, right? Because as it dries, it's going to settle in a little bit. And I've noticed that sometimes, depending on the fabric that you're using, say a terry cloth towel that has a lot of highs and lows, a lot of ridges on it, it actually can sink in quite a bit. And you might have to, after waiting 30 minutes or so, do another layer on top. And so I've noticed that you can layer this up quite a bit here. Now on this, kind of tight weave of this microfiber cloth, you might not have to do that. It might sit up on the top like this and not go anywhere. And that can actually save you a ton of time because I can just draw like that. But if you do need to go over it, you want to wait until it's tacky, put another layer on it and let that dry to tackiness and then put another layer on it. I definitely could see you doing two or three layers depending on the type of fabric and how it settles in. Now, the reason I say you want to do it tacky is because you want it to adhere to the layer before. I will also say this seems to take a while to dry. So I have noticed that even after an hour or two and I tap it, I get a little bit of this on my finger. So what you want to do, especially at room temperature called 70 degrees, uh, you definitely want to let this dry for hours. And for me, I'm going to let this dry overnight before I give you a demonstration to see if this works. Two hours later. Okay, this sock stop test has been drying for a few hours here, and I was just touching it, and it's fully dry. So it does take, I don't know, three or four hours for it to fully dry. I didn't want to put my fingerprints in it. Now, this was just the one coat. This was the application I showed you. I didn't go over it again. So on a really tight weave like this, you can see it has some elevation. So I think that's going to do a pretty good job of adding some grippy material on the one coat. Now, when I have tried this on things like socks and terry cloth towels, something that are more porous i think you might need more to build up because the fibers are going to kind of stick up you can also see that there is some sort of dye in here so that has bled through so if you're really worried about the aesthetics then you might want to get the clear one or the white one so uh, that has kind of come through like that now one of the things i want to try here is just put my weight on here and see if i can slide this around on this vinyl and as you can see i can do that no problem I'm almost cleaning it up. You can actually maybe see dust that I'm picking up. But if I put it like this, oh, I can't do it. I cannot push it around. It's going to stay in place. There is nothing I can do. I cannot, even if I'm really gentle, I'm just going to try to flop it on there and gently push. Nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's providing too much grip. So this is really a good example. I mean, I can obviously pull it because then it's not gripping in there. But even the slightest amount of pressure put on there is just making it stay in place so obviously i can do it on this side not this side so anyway if you want to add a little bit of grippiness and friction to your fabrics whether they are socks that you're going to wear around the house 
or coasters or potholders that you don't want sliding off the countertops, then I think the sock stop is a great way to do it. This may be an easy way to improve the things in your life. So I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.